At E3 2017, my dream game got announced for the Switch, and that is a mainline Pokemon game for the console. In this video, I want to talk about a concept that I've got in my head and what I want this Pokemon game to be, or what I think they could do with Pokemon on the Switch moving forward. So, pretty much, I've had this idea ever since I saw Pokemon Coliseum, and that is pretty much an open world. Pokemon game and after playing Breath of the Wild I would love it if Game Freak did a similar experience like what Nintendo did with um, Breath of the Wild like an open air and that is what Nintendo called Breath of the Wild I would love it if they would do an open air experience where what you see you can go to it pretty much whatever you see on on the map or in the game you can go to it I think it would be really cool if you know a Pokemon game followed the Breath of the Wild route, where you can just go anywhere, um, you can go anywhere, anytime, that would be you know really cool. I think it would be cool to travel between different towns and just to take your own routes. Um, and you know you got Pokemon popping up all the time. You got Pokemon trainers popping up, and what they could do is hide items along the map. I just love it if. An open world Pokemon game, you know, was made for the Switch, but I don't think they will do that. I think what um, Game Freak will do, and that is what I will probably talk about in a future video, I think they will just do like what they have done with um, their last few Pokemon games. I think it will be more like a handheld sort of experience for the Switch than like a open world, sort of like Breath of the Wild experience, but I think it would be really really cool if you could just walk between different towns you know obviously you've got the story elements in there but I think it would be really cool if you could just you know have like a traditional Pokemon experience but it's like 3D and it's like an open world experience that would just be that is just my dream game right there and I'd love to see Game Freak do that in the future now you've got that video on YouTube of Pokemon in Unreal Engine 4. I wouldn't want a Pokemon game to look like that just because I don't feel like that is Pokemon. I feel like if they did like an art style similar to Breath of the Wild, then that is perfect for Pokemon. And I definitely feel like they could use the same sort of gameplay mechanics like what they have done on the handhelds on a open world Pokemon um, experience similar to Breath of the Wild so you could have tall grass instead of the grass in Pokemon or in, in Breath of the Wild you could have that being tall grass and you know you could see different Pokemon walk about and you know they could you know battle you um, or they could just leave you and just walk past or you could go up to them and you know battle them that would just be really cool and in terms of Pokemon trainers you could have kind of like what you got in the handheld um, sort of situation where you got trainers lined up on like a random street. You could have that like in an open world setting as well, but maybe you could have them like sitting down in different places. You could have one you know, climbing up trees. Um, you know, we got others you know, doing other stuff in the world and you got others just standing on the street, sort of like the handheld experience. So pretty much what I am proposing in this video is an open world Pokemon game. Maybe it could be one region. I know the community, you know, they have been talking about a one flipping game which has all of the regions that they have done with Pokemon. So you could go from Kanto to Johto to, you know, Sinnoh to Anova all in one game. Imagine if you could do that in an open world setting, that would just be, oh my god, that is just like my dream game right there. I'm just getting excited just thinking about it, just like, just thinking about walking around in the Pokemon universe, like walking from town to town with my party, maybe you could have your party walking behind you or walking next to you, or maybe you could choose a Pokemon to walk alongside next to you, um, but just to, you know, just to think about that. And, you know, just to walk around and then, you know, Pokemon just attack you. You can see, like, flipping pigeons flying in the air. 
you can see like ratatouille's like running along next to you or you know just you got like tentacles like in lakes like goldines in lakes as well and you could go fishing like in those lakes and then just pull out you know goldines you know or magic carps and stuff like that imagine seeing like a massive gyarados as well you're just like you know walking along you see a river and all of a sudden oh my god there's flipping gyarados it's just flipping massive you're looking up it's just flipping huge you see snorlax just sitting next to a tree seriously that would just be really really cool you see different you see like jigglypuffs like playing together and or you see like it, I've, it'd just be really cool if it'll feel like you are in the Pokemon universe and then you know if you walk past them those Pokemon could either attack you or not or maybe they could have it similar to the handheld experience where you know hostile Pokemon will always be in tall grass and whatever Pokemon you see running next to you they will not attack you they will be friendly I just I think it would be really cool just to like see like caterpillars just or like butterflies like attach themselves like you've got metapods attach themselves to trees and then when you walk past all of a sudden they evolve into butterflies that just seriously it's just an open world sort of 3D Pokemon game for the Switch that would just be absolutely epic but seriously I wouldn't say no to a handheld sort of experience for the TV as well. I'd I would just love to see. Maybe this is something that Game Freak will do when they are confident in developing games for the console, like developing HD graphics. Just because Game Freak they haven't done that before, they are hiring people with experience of developing games for consoles. So maybe those people will be comfortable with developing this open world game. But I feel like this sort of thing will be a project for the future when um, you know when Game Freak are confident with developing games for HD consoles. That's just what I feel like. But I feel like this game will just be absolutely epic. What we'll be doing on the channel, like when fans post concept art for this Pokemon game for the Switch, I will be posting it. On my channel, we'll be doing like a, like a few compilation videos. Of course, we'll give credit where credit is due, and we'll you know leave links to the original image in the description for you guys to you know to check out and give props to the person. I'm just really looking forward to this game just because it is my dream game, and that's just my idea for this Pokemon Nintendo Switch game. We know it will be a traditional find, battle, and train Pokemon experience like what we've got. On the handheld, that is what Reggie confirmed at E3 2017. Um, so that is just my idea, that is just my concept for Pokemon. An open world um, Pokemon, sort of like Breath of the Wild. So it will be open air, that is what Nintendo describe it. And you know what? Let's have it on all regions. That will just be absolutely epic. But maybe they could do like a Pokemon Red, Blue yellow remake as well and remake it in the 3d sort of setting have it be like an open world game that would definitely be a new look on pokemon red blue and yellow but that is it for this video and i will see you next time let me know your thoughts about this concept and leave me your own ideas for pokemon on switch in the comments but that is it for this video and we'll see you next time